Julie. You're still here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> see, I, I came to... I came to sneak a peek at my exam. Oh. But my conscience won out, and I didn't do it, and I'm just gonna wait till everybody else finds out. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Hmm, how's Hart doing? Hart. Never mind, it's, it's gonna all work out. I understand. I mean, I, I understand you're not wanting to talk about it. What does a stranger know about your love life, right? I guess. But I'll tell you something, if... If you and Hart really are having problems, it's completely his fault. <laughs> All men are born equally dumb and inarticulate. Do you think so? <laughs> oh, absolutely. They're hopeless. I knew this guy. He was in his 30s, but he acted like a sixth grader. He was too afraid to kiss me. He was too afraid to, to ask me out. He'd rather cut his tongue off than admit how he felt about me. So you dumped him? Well, no, not exactly. He ended up being um, worth the wait. Well, what happened to him? Um, he left. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe it's not just Hart. Maybe all men are just impossible to figure out. Oh, they are. Absolutely. I mean, how are we supposed to, to know anything about them when they don't understand themselves? Right. You know, one of Tony's girlfriends said that to him when he was about 15. You wouldn't believe how many girls liked him. He used to follow him around, hang around the house, call him up. They came in droves, I swear. Droves, huh? <laughs> you know what, I, I think... I think you and I should go to dinner. We should. We should go to the Blue Moon and have dinner, and I'll pay, and, and you can, um... You can tell me the rest of your story there. What, my story about Tony? No, just about men in general. We can always use him as an example, though. Right. You know, like droves. I mean, um, when you say droves, what do you mean? Two droves or <laughs> talking ten? <laughs> actually told you to tell that poor girl he was on safari? <laughs> He's not very brave when it comes to women, is he? Evening, ladies. I have a dinner by myself, so I asked Julie to go out with me to dinner. What are you doing here? Just stopped off for a night, Jen. Do you want to join us? No, thanks. You two go ahead. I'll see you when you get home. Okay. I think you heard what we were saying. Julie? Maybe we should go somewhere else. Why, because Hart's here? Well, the worst thing you can do is run away from Guy Trouble. You gotta face it head on. I have been. It's not doing any good. Maybe if you tell him what's going on with you and Hart, I can help you better. Maybe. I'm just having a hard time dealing with Hart's demands. We missed this spot taken. Oh, no, it's not. What are you doing here? I thought you had a big important emergency at the uh, police station. Well, he did. It was bad news. New police chief, Ryan, wants me to go to the Capitol and give a deposition on a case. I'll leave tomorrow. The deposition. Because he asked me to do it, and he's my boss. Oh. Well, when are you going to be back? A couple of days. as much as you do. I don't think you do. I'm going to be here all of myself. I'm not going to be able to tell anybody I, I passed my final. I'm not going to be able to tell anybody I passed. It's going to be very hard. I didn't ask for this assignment. I mean, do you think I like the idea of being away from you? I like being able to see you. I like being able to touch you. I like being able to have my way with you. I'm going to stop right now. I'm not going to be responsible for my actions. I can't put up this act. I really want to kiss you. How bad do you want to kiss me? Bad enough that I said you get the hell out of here. Great night. What about Julie? I'll tell Claudia. I'm sure she won't miss us. Well, Billy, I can... So do I. No, I mean how we won't have to part. I told you I got to go to the Capitol. I know. Uh, no way, absolutely not. Why not? You can give the deposition during the day, and then I can be with you at night. Can I tell you I take dictation? Nice try, but you're not going. Did you say something? See, 
I had visions of you and me, all alone in the capital, where nobody knows us, out in the town, and then at night, heading back to the hotel room, when we're alone again, and we can make love till the sun comes up. What do you think? Harley, Harley, this is work. I mean, you know that saying, you don't mix business with pleasure? Well, we did enough of that in our honeymoon, right? <laughs> Look, you might as well stop because you're not going to seduce me into taking you with me, even if you do that. What was that? Look, I'm not going to be gone that long. I mean, you'll manage. You're right. You're right, it was a silly thought. It's just, it's way too complicated. Yeah. What? 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 You know what? What? Uh, you're going with me. Really? Really. How fast can you be ready? <laughs> Pretty quick. This is great. Mm. You and me in the capital where nobody knows us and we don't know anybody. 